This is your English lesson and I'm Faiza Masood. Today's topic is a female legend and this is your lesson number one. What is a legend? A legend means an imaginary story which is full of adventure or daring events. You can see in the picture, it is a picture of a knight who is fighting or ready to fight against his enemy. In such stories, you come across heroes who are very brave and they fight against the enemy who is very strong, but the hero wins the battle and completes his mission. Or a legend is a person who is famous due to his remarkable achievements. As you can see in the picture, this is a picture of Thomas Edison, a great scientist who invented electric bulb and there are so many adventures associated with him. A female legend. A female legend is a woman who is famous due to her remarkable achievements in any field. This is the picture of a great scientist, Marie Curie, who discovered radium. Radium is a radioactive element and she was awarded Nobel Prize for that. She was a legend, a female legend. And this is a picture of Valentina Treshkova. She was the first and the youngest Russian woman to have flown in space with a solo mission. She was a great lady. She was a brave lady indeed because she was alone in the spaceship. And this is Martina Navratilova. She's an American former professional tennis player and coach. She has great contribution in the field of sports and she's a female legend. And now have a look at this picture. This is the picture of a great, a graceful lady who is also known as Madri Millat, the mother of the nation. Yes. Uh, you have correctly guessed. She is Fatma Jinnah, the beloved sister of the founder of Pakistan, Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Fatma Jinnah was born in Karachi on 30th of July 1893. Fatma Jinnah had seven siblings, and you know she was the youngest, and one of them was the founder of Pakistan, Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. She got her early education from Bandra Convent, Bombay. She was an intelligent girl and she was respected and she was admired by the teachers. She was interested in medicine, so she joined Dr. Emmett's Dental College in 1919. She took an active part in politics. You can see in this picture. She joined All India Muslim League in 1940. Thus she worked shoulder to shoulder with men in Pakistan movement. Fatma Jinnah was a source of great inspiration for all the ladies and she asked them to work for Pakistan movement. This is a very beautiful and memorable picture of Fatma Jinnah along with the other lady workers and Qaidi Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Even after the death of Qaidi Azam, she took part in politics because she loved her nation. So she contested for presidential elections in 1967. Look this glorious picture in which she is addressing her nation in 1967. Dear students, I hope you might have listened to me very carefully. There is a small activity and I understand, I know, it won't be difficult for you to answer the following questions. Question number one, what was, when was Madri Millat born? Question number two, what was her profession? Recall the video and you can rightly guess what was her profession before she joined politics. Question number three, when did she join All India Muslim League. Dear kids, 
I hope you might have enjoyed your lesson. My next lesson would be about vocabulary and usage. We will be working on noun formation, antonyms, synonyms and adjectives. So please watch my next lesson. Till then, thank you very much.